Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. Uh, you know, O line had plenty of movement, and I was and I was able to. I mean, as far as my reads throughout the week, everything looked like the way we practiced. So uh, it came easy, and I mean, as as far as you've seen, the O line was hyped up. So as long as they're hyped up, we can keep rolling. Go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey Clyde, um, career day for you. Just what does it mean to have this type of a performance responding to your first loss in your career? And then secondly, coach mentioned that you have talked to Le'Veon since he joined the team. I just want to know what that conversation was like before playing tonight. Yes, sir. Um, you know, as, as far as responding from, from last week's loss, I mean, it was just, it was the mindset. And, and, and ultimately, everybody knows when it, when it comes to football, it starts up front and, and, the O line did their job. They they made they made things move. They made everything easier for me. So ultimately, it's not just me. This is a career day for for not just me, but but the entire O line. And then, you know, talking to Le'Veon, he's you know an, a, another guy coming in, a, another piece to the puzzle. So ultimately, um, from from here, I just feel like we can we can only go up. You know, Le'Veon, um, you know, got guys older than me. I'm I'm still in my <clears throat> still in my rookie year. So ultimately, anything that I can do to pick his brain and 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 gain any knowledge from the, from from him, I'm I'm there for it. So uh, as far as us talking, it was a quick conversation. But ultimately, uh, we know he'll he'll be in the building next week, so I'll be able to talk to him more in person. Let's go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Clyde. Um, can you walk me through the process of just running behind so many different moving parts in front of you on the offensive line? Do you, do, do you change your attacks? Do you change your approach? How, how do you do that? Uh, it's, it's, it's ultimately based on a play call. Um, and, and then the scheme, you know, it's the scheme of the offense. Uh, it was something that I was able to do um, as far as college. If we want to go back to last year, just having tight ends and fullbacks come across my face and, and receivers come across my face as far as um, certain blocks that we need to make happen. And ultimately, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's our scheme. Um, I was able to, to learn it over, you know, OTAs as far as on camera. So, seeing it, not just running it. And then ultimately when I got in the camp, you know, uh, watching those pictures come, in, come to life right in front of my face, the same play, same blocking schemes and everything else, it, it all just kind of plays a part in, in, in what we do. So um, I go in, I, I learn as much as I possibly can from the O-line, see how they're blocking up fronts, blocking up certain schemes, blocking up, um, you know, the, the guys are, uh, in front of them. And then it just makes my job that much easier. Go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Clyde. Um, I, I know you played at LSU, so I don't ask this question lightly, but you had a lot of yards before contact today. Have you had many games or any games like this where things were so, so wide open before you even got touched? Uh, yes, sir. A couple. Uh, you know, right now I can't just 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 mark it off the top of my head as far as the games that, that were like that. But, um, you know, when, when, when you have days like this, Things just seem, you know, like to, to part like the Red Sea, and, and that's what the O line did. And, and ultimately, I just put my head down and run. And then when it's time to make a guy miss or, or time to run through a guy, I do my job. That fires up the O line, and, and I'm doing my 111. So ultimately, it got us the win. We've got time for a couple more guys. We're going to go Sam McDowell and then Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Clyde. Uh, you're certainly aware of the way teams are trying to defend you this year uh, offensively. Because of that, do you sort of feel the responsibility that, that you've got to have things going, you know, to, to prevent teams from finding an equation to slow you guys down? Ultimately, I just have to be accountable for my job. Um, I can't I can't do, you know, all, all everybody else's job. Uh, like I said, I do my 111th, and, and if I do my job, uh, that's, that's all I can be accountable for. So the best accountability, I mean, the best ability is accountability, and that's, that's what I do. We'll go to Aaron Ladd for the last one. Go ahead, Aaron. Clyde, when we spoke with EB earlier in the week, he said y'all had a conversation about just getting 1% better each and every time. I'm curious where you feel like you've gotten better from week one up into, until now. Uh, you know, with us, having this, with us having this conversation uh, this past week, it was something that, that he told me to make sure I just have three things written down each week. And, and ultimately, um, as far as, the, as, far as the, the conversation I had in between, well, me, me and EB had, uh, my, my job this week for between me and him was finishing. And, and ultimately, I feel like I did that this week as far as my 1% my of getting better.